What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It is I back at you with another video. In this video, we're going over probably the most based real world take I've ever seen about a programming language on my channel. I get a few comments every so often from you guys. And this one is absolutely insane. So shout out to this guy. If he has a channel of his own, I'm going to check and see if his channel is on. I'll put it in the description because this is a very well-written take, in my opinion. So let's go into it, let's read it, and we'll talk about it, let's break it down. So the biggest problem with Odin is the lack of tutorials and documentation that poorly explains anything for complete beginners. Boom, full stop. That is crazy because a lot of people, the idea of learning a new language is what gets them into coding. But this language has a barrier of entry because it's not even built for beginners. It feels like you should learn some other low level language before stepping into it. The only book about Odin is behind a paywall. So yes, these companies have to make their own money. No one's judging you for that. But how are we supposed to learn the language without as a hobbyist? Why, why is it behind the clothes? That's like trying to learn Japanese, but you can only pay to learn Japanese. There's no way you can learn Japanese without actually paying for it. It's kind of crazy. Let's continue. Yes, the language meant is, well, is, the language is meant to be easy and understandable for everyone by design, but there's a lot of specific things that should be explained by practical examples. I seen a lot of people having trouble doing C tutorials in Odin and then quitting because the dis, because despite the similarities, these are quite different languages, especially in terms of memory management. I can't understand who QB's, the creator of Odin, target audience is. Newbies need guides and the pros are staying skeptical no matter what. So what he's saying here is that newbies, they need guides. We, I consider myself a newbie when it comes to new languages, need a way and a method for getting into that language. Cause you can, I'm gonna do a reaction video on like the only programming advice you need, but that's once you get to the point where you can interact with the language fully. There's gotta be a guide on how to get to that language. Like I am doing a series on learning Odin where I am struggling getting the thing on my PC and I have to do all of these extra steps just to get this language on my computer because of what it's built for. So newbies need tutorials. And then pros are staying skeptical no matter what, seeing Odin as yet another C killer that no one needs, continue using C C++ anyway. So. What they're saying is that this is just another iteration of a language that's trying to do away with C and C++. That is, those two languages are just foundational languages and very solid and fundamental low-level programming languages. And so everyone is trying to have their own rendition of it in a way that improves upon it. But because I can't learn it, I can't use it, I might as well go learn C and C++, which are probably some of the most documented languages there are like you will find thousands of hours of videos i have you can find books on c and c plus plus i got a book on c sharp like you'll be able to find everything you need to get up and going in c and c plus plus when odin who's supposed to replace c does not have that kind of structure so this creator has also said i've created a proposal in their github discussions about an official tutorial series but it seems like their community didn't like this idea and I only got a mocking response. This could be a highlight into the fact that people who are pushing for Odin, or not pushing for Odin, because I've actually got a lot of support from you guys when I am trying to learn Odin. It's people who are already coding Odin and they're like, it's almost like, nah, like almost like an elitist perspective. Not like those people who code in Rust, it's very different, but these individuals are showing themselves as they don't want everybody in here kind of thing. And so to say that, you know, but it seems that the community didn't like this idea and I only got a mocking response, is shows that a leader that elites this kind of coding mentality. And then there is no direct infrastructure yet. If Jai would be released to the public and it would get more attention, then it would lead to more tutorials, tooling, libraries. Right now, there are only vendor packages in Odin, exam examples, et cetera. So there's not a whole lot of resources to figure out what it is that's going on. Someone commented on a, a commented on a different post that 
use ChatGPT to learn. That's how you can do it with Python, with Java, with everything else. It's like, but because there's not a whole lot of examples of Odin floating around on the internet, ChatGPT has no idea what it's doing. And it's giving out garbage advice. So I think this is probably one of the most base takes you could do it. Now, what's going to be my recommendation? And this is what I'm going to recommend for myself. Once you figure out how to get it onto your PC, and once you get it there, literally take it as if you've done this before. So it says on the website that you need to, matter of fact, let's go to the website. Let's do that. Let's go there. So this is a data oriented language for saying software development. Cool. We go to the overview. This article is an introduction to other programming languages. You're assumed to have a basic knowledge of programming concepts, such as variable statements and types. Now, this is not abnormal from what should be expected. But if we go back to our other, if we go back to our post, it's almost like he's saying that you need to, it feels like you should learn some other low level language before stepping into it. I wonder why that is, right? And so like, I've already gone through all of this, but I'm kind of just trying to make the comparison here. Like this language, seems to be a intermediate level language in far as how you should learn it and how you should go about it. There are languages like Python or languages like C, C++, whatever, maybe even Rust that have a lot of documentation and a lot of infrastructure behind it. So it can be easier to learn because you can find a resource behind every concept that you do not understand. Odin doesn't seem to be like that. So if you're going in there, you got to keep an open mind and realize you're going to be doing a lot of work but i just wanted to go over that comment because that comment was crazy let me know what you think in the comment section below i'll see you on the next one i'll be back with your boy peace